when we talk about heat shrink tubing, one aspect that matters the most is the shrink ratio. It tells you how much the tubing will shrink when heat is applied. Imagine you're working with a power cable that has a thick lug at one end and a thinner cable section behind it. You need one tube that can slide over the connector and still shrink down tightly around the cable. Standard tubing won't cover both properly. You need something that can handle the size difference without leaving gaps. This is where shrink ratios come in. These ratios tell you how much the tube reduces in diameter when heat is applied, applying a single tube to adapt to different sizes along the same length. Let me give you an example. If a single wall tubing has a shrink ratio of 2 to 1, it means that the tubing will shrink to half its original diameter when heated. If a tube starts at 10 mm in diameter, it will shrink down to 5 mm. This allows it to grip tightly onto wires, terminals or connectors of different sizes. This shrinking behavior is built into the material during manufacturing. The polymer is stretched and cooled in its expanded form and when reheated, it remembers its original size and contracts back to it, gripping the surface like a second skin.